Frederick Douglass's birth name was Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey. He escaped slavery in Maryland and became an abolitionist fighting to end slavery. In his autobiography, he shared an incredible story about the steps his mother took to love him. He writes, My mother and I were separated when I was but an infant, before I knew her as my mother. It is a common custom in the part of Maryland from which I ran away to part children from their mothers at a very early age. She was hired by a Mr. Stewart, who lived about 12 miles from my home. Yet she made her journeys to see me in the night, traveling the whole distance by foot after the performance of her day's work. She was a field hand, and a whipping was the penalty of not being in the field at sunrise. Yet she was with me in the night. She would lie down with me and get me to sleep. But long before I waked, she was gone. You know, it's estimated that there is 2,250 steps in a mile. That means that Frederick Douglass's mother took 54,000 steps round trip to be with him and then get back to work in the morning. She forfeited rest and sleep. She forfeited her own schedule. These steps after slaving all day in the tobacco fields. And with every step, she faced incredible punishment just to be with and love on her son. While I don't have the calculation of the number of steps it took for God to get from heaven to earth, I do know he came to be with us. Jesus took every step to the cross where he received the penalty for being identified with our sins. At the cross and the grave, Jesus laid down his life for you. And in the waters of baptism, he brought you into his family. And there are steps still to come. Jesus tells us, there is more than enough room in my father's home. I am going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me. So thank you, moms, for all the steps that you take to love us. Thank you, Jesus, for those perfect steps taken to give us eternal life. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we give you great thanks and praise for moms today. We thank you and celebrate the role that they play in our lives and the sacrifices that they make for children. We pray also in great thanksgiving for the steps that you took to the cross and the grave for us. There you did face the punishment that we deserved. And yet there you conquered sin, death, and the devil, and you freed us from slavery to sin and set us free to have the righteousness that you won for us there. Thank you, Jesus, for the freedom we have and for the steps that you took. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.